What's up, y'all? It's Christian, and I'm back. I'm gonna do a little FTM Q and A about my transition, just to educate y'all, and hopefully you get to know me better than what I've been through. So yeah, let's get right into it. Without further ado, first question: How has top surgery affected my dysphoria? Um, honestly, it took it away because dysphoria is the disconnect between your mind and your body. So. I got top surgery to align my body to my mind so it's non-existent like it can put it out basically like there's no dysphoria at least when it comes to my chest um how has my family taken my transition so it's basically just my immediate family because i don't really talk to my um, outside family and that honestly is due to my transition i just don't want to have to like go through like all of that I'd, I'd rather not so Immediate family, my parents were kind of more, they were angry, but I think the anger came from like concern as to like, how is it gonna affect my future and what does this mean for me? So I understand that, but I mean, now though, they like, they get it. Um, I think what it really took was me just doing it. Like that's also some advice to anyone else going through this, like just do it because no one is gonna see you for you until you start seeing yourself for you. And like, like that shit is real. Like when I started to present like this and shit, like, Bro, like you could see like I was real. You could see how it affected me like in a positive way. The hardest thing I've had to overcome, honestly, just waiting. Like waiting, being in high school, bro, I thought I was gonna start home runs and then I didn't start until after my first semester of college. So that was tough as fuck. Like I was like barely making it day by day. Like I failed all my college classes that first semester because it was just ass going up went up to the college, having people perceive me as what the fuck I'm not, and it was just annoying. My whole name thing wasn't changed yet. It was annoying, like I was over it. So that shit really does affect you. So that's probably the hardest thing I've had to overcome just because like I'm waiting to be myself, bro. Like what the fuck? Um, do I want bottom surgery? Now, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cap, yeah. But in the future, because like right now, I can still like do everything I need to do when it comes to like what I would need, you know, bottom surgery for. Like I can do that shit right now. I feel good with just um, my chest and everything. So I mean, later on, I'll see what's up, but not anytime soon. But you guys will know when I really start to consider it and like, start the process and everything. Mm, do I regret transitioning? No, <laughs> I don't at all. Um, no if you regret your transition that says something that means you should you were fucked up before something else was going on and it was not being trans because you're not trans so that's a whole different thing so <clears throat> how much money has went towards my transition that's a good question but honestly i don't know i mean i get my like hormones uh, a three month supply is like five bucks but that's just because i like the insurance and everything so if you have good insurance you're not even going to be really seeing the bills of um, the whole transition like you're not gonna be seeing the bills of it if you have good insurance or only time you really start paying it is you have to do out of pocket or if you just don't have good insurance something like that but even for top surgery I didn't see a bill like it was just part of the like insurance like therapy costs a lot too therapy is like um, I've heard 150 per session I was I was in therapy for like two or three years so you just imagine that but like I said my insurance is good and everything so it was kind of like a package so I just I just yeah <laughs> this question is really good and i think that not enough people not enough people that transition touch on this but like do i still think like a girl honestly no testosterone is not just physical like this is what y'all can see is how i look how i sound yeah but i have went through some mental stuff that's why transitioning is not a game like if you're not like you don't do that shit for fun or like you know it's serious like that shit is serious as fuck so like little things like before bro another thing like, i could cry like that before like pre-tea now that i'm on tea like it's hard to cry like if i cry then some shit has seriously had to happen to me because like it's tough to cry you know not that i'm like a dick like i could still cry uh when it's necessary but it's just not as like on command like you know like i'd rather get i get more angry than sad and like down so yeah favorite thing to do after transition so my favorite thing to do after after transitioning uh, working out for sure like because now I can see the, like the results and the way I want to see them and I just like improving my body and seeing what else I could be and, like why not so 
Working out definitely makes me feel good too. I just, I just love working out. My experience through top surgery. So I'm gonna put a clip. What the fuck? So that was me. Um, I was just in there like shook, like, yo, I'm about to do this like in an hour, bro. Like, I'm about to be asleep, like, titties gone. Like, I was, it was really surreal, like, real shit. Like, especially when you've been waiting years and now you're in the place to have that shit done in like the next hour. Crazy. But yeah, so then that happened. And then after surgery was my recovery. Honestly, I don't really remember. I mean, okay, I remember, but like it was a fog because I was drugged up. And I was just kind of like in it, just sleeping, waking up, recovering. So like, it wasn't that bad. It went by quick. The most, uh, the terrible thing about that was the drains because they were in there for like a week and a half. Those shits were uncomfortable. But like I said, I was just laying down. When did I know I wanted to turn this in? So I knew for show, for show, for show, when I was like 14. And I knew at that point, but I didn't really like act on it. I mean, cause at that point I thought I was lesbian or whatever. So I was already kind of dressing masculine. So I just took that up a notch and I was just, I was just dressing more masculine, having people address me as um, he, him, changing my name and everything. But to actually transition, 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 like with hormones and all that stuff. Uh, probably when I was like 16, I'd say 16, um, late 16, early 17, like 17 for sure, like for sure, for sure, for sure. Cause like when you're younger, your gender doesn't really make that big of a difference. But when you start getting older, like damn, you're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, it just hit a lot harder and I had to do something about that. It's for people going through the same thing. Honestly, just do it. Like I, there's no real way to coach someone through transitioning because it's such an individual thing and my family is different than yours my situation is different than yours but just do it i think that's pretty universal like for real like you just gotta do it you can't be scared of nothing like you can't you just gotta do it and have that mindset like yo this may look tough but i gotta do it and it's, it's gonna be like later on you're gonna be like yeah like i'm glad i did that shit it's all about the future and how it's gonna affect you later on like you gotta do that shit for yourself like probably like getting to experience you in your whole self like feeling comfortable like bro like meeting yourself for the first time that ass that sounds crazy i know but like i barely like in this last year i've met myself like especially after top surgery bro i met myself like i'm an i'm a new person like i said people will start to take you more seriously and will start to adapt to what you're doing when they see you putting in the work but yeah i have one last question and fuck whoever the fuck said this shit because someone dead ass had the boss is hold on Someone asked me, what's wrong with my nipples? Nothing. I hate nothing. I'm gonna take my shirt off for him so I can show y'all. Nothing is wrong with my motherfucking nipples, but I'll address it anyways because you think something's wrong, so I wanna clear that shit up. So, so this nipple, the color has to come back in your nipples. So once you first come out of surgery, your nipples are not the color that they should be. So this one already, it already got back to what it, you know what I'm saying? Now this one is a little, it's lagging a little bit in that area, but over time, it's only been two months. So don't be asking me what's wrong with my nipples or anything, cause they're healing, all right? They're healing. Thank you very much. But yeah. But yeah, yo, so that was a little Q and A. If you guys have more questions, you can ask them. I can do multiple of these Q and A videos as questions come along and I'm going to be putting out more videos. So this is not the only one. This is just the questions that I got for this, this round of Q and A. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and you'll be seeing me way more and stay safe with this COVID shit y'all too. Like stay home, just watch me or something, watch someone else, something y'all. Cause this shit is real as fuck. Like <laughs> stay safe.